at September 10th. Hello. Yeah, well, what was that text? I, I can't drive and uh, read. Oh, I was just saying, what about all the times your mom called me horrible names and you took her side? That's not normal. Take anybody's side. I'm not taking nobody's yes, side. Wow, you're going back right, into well. this shit and then you're going to threaten to call my mom? You threatened to call my dad, too. I don't, I'm and my dad said he did you a favor paying that bankruptcy for five years while you didn't work and we got yeah, behind him. Yeah, and I guess, yeah. He, he did that for both of us. And then you're going to uh, call him my effing dad? So that's fine. My dad's sick, too. So that's okay. She is a number one fucking bitch. I'll just put it to you that way. I need to find a woman who I like to be around. I don't like being around her anymore. I mean, somebody that likes to, that enjoys to at least have sex every once in a fucking blue moon instead of once every fucking three or four years. I don't give a fuck. I don't care anymore. I work, 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 work. That's all I do is work. You know, now I gotta worry about my my mom. You know, it's just one of them things. She's got a 23-year-old son that works temporary part-time job. He works maybe 12 hours a week, maybe. You know, that's pretty fucking sad, but he eats our food, drinks our stuff, but he works 12 hours a week. But she lets it go on. But I'm picking at him. You know, I mean, he thought, thought, thought like Tumley from Pine Stars. That's all he talks like. You know, it's just pretty sad that you, you can't even install anything into anybody, any work. You know, it's like, hey, you know, why don't you get a, a real job that pays a little bit of money? Nah. He makes like $120 every fucking week, you know? And then she has the audacity to say how much money I make. Oh, well, you don't make enough. Well, no shit. We got five people living in the motherfucking house. And he works at little temporary part-time jobs. Eats everything up in that fucking house. And some. I'll never make it in a band. I already know that. I could already tell. He jumps up and down with his pants falling off. I watched him that one time. I was just shaking my fucking head. I was like, you know, my wife's always like, oh, you're jealous. I'm jealous of what? Having my pants fall off in front of a crowd. Well, there wasn't even a crowd. There was like maybe eight people in the crowd, and that was it. So, I mean, his pants could have fallen completely off. And nobody would have fucking, it wouldn't even have mattered. But it's uh, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. It is 1.36 p.m. on Sunday, September the 10th. I can't, all she does is keeps texting me and bullshit, and then she'll be like, well, quit texting me. I'm not texting you. And here's another message from her. Non-stop text messages, calls, bullshit. It just gets to be too much. You know, anytime I ever say anything, oh, you're picking on Logan, you're picking on him. Picking on him? He has never had anything installed. You try when they're young, you know, hey, lose a little bit of weight. Don't get your ass up to 300 pounds. What does he do? He's like five foot three, and he's just as round as he is tall. So that's pretty sad. I give up with him, I can't say anything. He could throw chairs at me at my head, he can fucking throw cups, he can throw whatever he wants at me, and it's fine, it's justifiable. I don't even have to do anything and he'll throw shit at me. There's no help, I mean, I was struggling one time with a ladder, oh, he, he fucking just lays around, all he does and he wakes up, um, burbers, yawning, that's what he says too. It's funny, well it ain't funny, it's fucking sad. Sad, sad, sad. He'll never have anything. He'll never drive. Nothing. Oh, shit. Oh, he's sealing the driveway. I'm going to help him. All right, until later. Goodbye.